Charleston, South Carolina. Most people see Sullivan's Island as a fantastic place to vacation during the summertime with its beautiful beaches and bright sunshine. However, today we are here for a very specific reason. We, besides being blown to bits by the wind, are here to explore Fort Moultrie. Fort Moultrie is a huge part of South Carolina's history beginning during the American Revolutionary War. So come with me and we're going to explore. looks very different than it does today. It was built beginning in the year 1776 in an attempt to help defend Charleston from the British. This was during the time of the American Revolution. The colonists were angry and they wanted their freedom and Charlestonians were ready to fight for it. shipped in, they used what they had. They built Fort Moultrie solely out of palmetto trees. And so many people in Charleston said, that's never going to work. And you can understand why they would think that. The fort only had three sides because they ran out of time before they were able to finish building. So imagine pulling into Charleston Harbor and seeing a sad little fort sitting on the end of the island. Three sided, only made of palmetto. what they believed in. However, one thing every fort needs is a flag. One of the commander's wives decided to make a flag to represent Fort Moultrie. She made it out of blue fabric, the same as the soldiers' uniforms, and she put a palmetto tree on it to represent what the fort was made out of. One final touch she added was a white crescent shape in the top corner. Many people today believe it is to represent the palmetto moon. However, it was actually the collar that soldiers wore along with their uniforms. So, not only was it a huge part of the American Revolutionary War, it's where we got our state flag. in Charleston Harbor and the Patriots are ready to fight for their rights. All they have is a blue flag and a fort with only three sides made of palmetto trees. So it's time to venture outside and see just what happened during the Battle of Fort Moultrie. 